Hey fellow world winners, it's Angry Turtle and I'm coming back with yet another video for all of you Brotherhood of Steel lovers and this is Brotherhood of Steel Soldier build that will be perfect for all of you that want to roleplay something related to Brotherhood I use it, I use it on the live stream yesterday and I was actually surprised, that's why I'm doing this video because I was surprised it was working and it was working well First, I was expecting that this will be a failure and it will be really hard to play because, yeah, as a Brotherhood soldier, I cannot be mutated. Therefore, if you look under my effects tab, there is no mutations. There is no mutations at all. Not a single one. That's what you need to do if you really want to roleplay as a part of the Brotherhood of Steel. And I did it and I'm going to keep this character as I'm happy with him. I'm happy with him and I know there will be further update and I'm going to keep him. I will show you how it works. First, before we start talking more, uh, I will need ammo. And as he's a Brotherhood soldier, he has rather a simple life and does not carry too much stuff at all, uh, only the necessary stuff. And here we craft fusion cores, nine of them and those will last. Uh, from my experience so far, single craft of those, that single pure violet flux, it will last me for about four hours of the gameplay. Then that's really good. One flux, four hours, really good. And of course we'll be playing in the power armor. And yes, I do recommend to play in first person if you are playing with any heavy guns, especially the ones that need a spin up time, like I'm using in here, ultra side gatling laser, as you are basically kind of immune to staggers, like you are getting stagger much less and if you are getting stagger quite often you will keep shooting and here we go, I am able to kill them zero mutations, full health as well as I can tank them while stand all this damage I think there are some negatives here, yeah, you can probably imagine that there are some negatives of playing without any mutations that there is some stuff that I was otherwise not paying attention to like looking where is actually the entrance and where are the stairs <laughs> going around because you cannot just jump straight up so high. I do have a jetpack, therefore I can fly up when I need, but that drains my AP and causes the superhero landing. As there is no bear bones, then my fall damage, I mean fall damage, fall speed is normal. There is no reduction to my fall speed. There is nothing like that, but, but still, I'm holding well. Like... Look at that, I have no problem with those super mutants. We'll try to attack something tougher as well, of course. Uh, super mutants first. And there is a reason I'm using these modifications on this Gatling laser, but we'll go into that in the second. Okay, let's hit something tougher, maybe sentry bot. Okay, let's wait for him to naturally get out and start fighting. We don't want to kill him when he's asleep. We want to see the fight. All right, it's a free star, we are lucky this time. It can be random, one star, two star, three star. And surprisingly, we are doing really well. He's healing, but he cannot heal fast enough. I think we hit his fusion core a little bit when he was trying to get a swing on us. That's why his health dropped down for a moment really quickly. And here we go. And about the healing, no problem. A press of a button, I'm healthy. Uh, my food bar is full and my water bar is full as well. As I decided to adopt it for this build, my lazy heavy gunner build, after some changes, he's a boss soldier now and he's fulfilling this role very well. Okay, let's visit a vendor now. I will show you what simple life really means. And now we are at the vendor because inventory management, that's the best single part of this build. Just look at the weapons. We have one weapon, clear and tidy. I saw this one star legendary as I already have too many for scrap. The apparel. Very short list, and that's my naming convention. I want my stuff to be on the bottom, then whatever is above it, I can easily sell. And eight. Oh, so much to check out. No problem. Let me do the quick inventory management. That's going very well. And now we have perfectly managed inventory under aid. 
what mean empty and you think how i heal yeah i heal because i still have oh, i don't need the spoiled meat i still have survival syringes and this is my healing this is my food this is my everything even though it's not as necessary as it used to be for a lazy build because the negative hunger and test does not have any side effects but it's still really nice because you cannot sell it therefore i can sell everything from eight without paying attention and my survival syringes will still be in here and that's all i really need under aid under ammo is very simple as well because whatever is not a fusion core you can basically drop then it's very simple management in the same time my weight is really low like 99 out of 300 just because i don't need to carry anything and now a little bit more about the build let's start let's start this time from the weapon Anti-armor Gatling laser with faster fire rate, that's my weapon of a choice because it suits perfectly the Brotherhood of Steel team, the boss team, it suits it perfectly and for the same reason I put in here through charging barrels, normally I'm not using it uh, because it's not the best DPS modification but it looks the most advanced of all that you can put on your ultra side Gatling laser, therefore I went with that and I put a beam focuser to get it back to red color as I feel like red is more sightable for boss but it's personal opinion of course you can do your choices but I'm sharing my build basically what charging barrels are doing in here the ammo efficiency is doubled but DPS is halved that's basically what this stuff is doing double ammo efficiency half DPS then you can of course use normal barrels if you want higher DPS under apparel, I have T60 power armor with a jetpack, of course, and calibrated legs, and as well targeting helmet. And you were able to see this uh, red outline on the enemies, that's thanks to this targeting helmet. The targeting part is really good for this boss helmet, and I noticed that it's working perfectly fine recently. I know in the past it was sometimes buggy, but like for last two days, it's working fine for me. Apart from the power armor, I just have my backpack, uh, under armor and outfit. I'm not carrying anything else as armor, regular armor is totally unnecessary for this build. Although if you have nice armor, yeah, keep it. And this time we'll not discuss mutations I'm using because there is none. Let's go into the perks. Let me start with legendary perks. We have survival shortcut, as I said, not necessary, but as I already have it maxed out, it is really cool and I will keep it. Apart from that, I have what rats for like zero rat away requirement, thanks to this perk. You don't need to upgrade it more than once if you are wearing power armor. That's enough to keep your rats at zero inside the nuke zone. Taking one for the team, that's one of the most important. If you want to do a decent damage, that's really good. Funky dads, that's really helpful for power armor users. Uh, you can consider either that or fire resistance, but I think poison is more useful. Then we have Ammo Factory for this insane efficiency of crafting ultra side fusion cores, like nine of those from one flux. That's the efficiency I like. Although you can as well farm those ultra side fusion cores in daily op, then this card is not necessary. And if you want, you can swap it. And electric absorption, that's like a must for every power armor user. Healing and fusion core recharge in one. Even though it's not upgraded, it's already really good. Upgraded is better, yeah, but it costs and downside of this build is you do not level up fast without mutations. And now perks itself. We don't have carry weight perks in here, that's a surprise. Oh, and I demonstrate all this combat <laughs> without adrenaline, that normally I have slightly higher damage. I just noticed I have still ammo smith equipped, it should be adrenaline. Okay, I will not do the combat again. You just can imagine it will be even better. And now we have heavy gunner perks, of course, all of them, because it's a full health build. And we have blocker, that's the best defensive perk in here that we can get. And we don't really need anything else. Uh, under perception, there is like no requirements for anything. I have butcher's bounty, but that's not perfect. Let's replace it. And now we have glow sight, a little bit more damage for those tanky glowing enemies. Under endurance, we have fireproof. That's really good. I was considering to drop it below rank 3, but because I'm doing Colossus quite frequently and there is a lot of fire damage in there, then I decided to keep it at max rank, even though for just explosions, 
rank 1 or rank 2 is enough in case of power armor users. Then life giver, that's the best defensive perk under endurance you can get and we have it. Under charisma, tenderizer and inspirational, we want this a little bit more experience. It's already slow with built without mutations and tenderizer, yeah, that's awesome addition to our damage. Then that's the best damage related perk under charisma and it's better than bloody mess and other stuff than for you always want it. If you play solo, of course, you can toss out inspirational as it will be totally useless and toss in Lone Wonder in this place and maybe drop Tenderizer to rank 2 or just add more Charisma from somewhere. Then under Intelligence we have 12 Intelligence in our disposal, Power User to farm ammo less frequently, Double Duration of the course in my Gatling Laser, Stabilized, that's the best one for damage, under Intelligence we can get for any Heavy Gunner, and we have Scrapper all the time in here, because when I loot some of those weapons, I want to scrap them instantly. And uh, that's really handy in here. And we have Gunsmith as well, although it's not necessary, as what I notice, this Gatling laser will last me for at least eight hours constant gameplay, eight hours without repair. Therefore, it's not necessary, but it's really cool. If you want to go for like, boss build that will be focused on roleplay and on his job rather than inventory management then yeah gunsmith is a perfect match optionally you can like replace gunsmith and scrapper with something like first aid and batteries included then under agility as i said adrenaline was supposed to be here and wasn't and born survival that's just as just in case it will not be used and it's not necessary it will be a very very rare occasion that born survival will actually trigger Therefore, if you don't want it in here, you can consider to take this one point. If you, for example, play solo, put it into Charisma to be able to squeeze Tenderizer and Lone Wonder together. But I like it. It's my backup. It's my safety. It cannot use Survival Syringe, but I usually pick up somewhere one Steam Pack and it will be in my inventory just in case. And under luck, we have Bloody Mess. We have One Gun Army, Ricochet, and Luck of the Draw. As you can notice, because there is no mutation, there is no need to equip Class Freak or Star Jeans. What give me room to equip everything else I want under luck and my luck is 12. I don't need more luck and I have everything equipped that this build need. Then that's exactly how this build is my perfect brotherhood roleplay build. I don't need to focus on inventory management. I don't need to farm resources, really, because occasional Scourge's Queen will give me those couple fluxes I need to craft ammo, or they will up will drop me those cores. I don't have any mutations, therefore I can roleplay it without feeling guilty that I'm not a true Brotherhood soldier. And of course, some small details and how you want to roleplay. It's always up to you, you don't need to follow my build, but I decided to share just because it is working and I was surprised that it's working so well. I can use T60 power armor, I can use this ultra side gatling laser, zero mutations, full health because of course I don't think Brotherhood will welcome someone heavily irradiated going into action therefore, yep, that's what I have in here. Let me know what you think about this build. If you want to see more of the gameplay on this build, I mean almost on this build, when I was on the way to finish this build, you can check out the latest live stream that was yesterday. I was using this character all the time and did all the Brotherhood story with it. And now as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.